Now we're gonna make some fly. Fly is a Dutch pastry <clears throat> with a yeast of dough as the base and it has fruit in it and it's delicious. Um, and um, I'm gonna show you how to make a little one or single serving portions of it with a pretty lattice on top. It can be a little bit complicated, so look closely to see how it's done. So first of all, I divided my dough into three batches, so one, two, three, and I'm going to roll it out into a circle. I made sure I uh, dusted the sur work surface with some flour, I don't see it sticking, because it can be slightly sticky, this dough. So you want to roll it out pretty thin and try and get as nice and even a circle as you can. Really the trick to do that is just keep picking it up and turning it around a little bit um, and rolling it some more. All right, so that's about the right size. So now we're going to do some pretty intricate cutting um, and that's what's going to help us make that lattice. So first of all, I like to use a dough scraper, but you can use a knife or a, you know, like a pizza cutter or something like that. First, we want to cut our circle into four quarters. So just eyeball it. I didn't cut mine perfectly in the center, so we're going to have slightly uneven fly, but it's okay. So here we go. We've got four quarters. The next thing we're going to do is make some slits in it, which create that lattice. So I have a little credit card. You can use an old credit card or a gift card or something like that. I have a different dough scraper and there's just some different lengths to help me make the cuts that I need to make. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make parallel cuts parallel to the straight sides that we cut just now. So I'm going to do a cut here and a cut here and then a slightly smaller cut next to it. So I'm going to use the long side of my credit card and then I'm going to use the short side of my credit card. Long sides, and then the short sides of the credit card. Now we're going to fill it. So I'm filling my fly with cherry filling today, but there's several recipes in the book for fillings. This is my favorite. You want to get a good scoop on there, sort of in the middle. I'm going to try and make a triangle, kind of the shape of the pastry. That's the shape that the pastry is going to be when it's baked. This makes 12 fly this recipe, so you can you have plenty of filling to go around. All right. Now we're gonna do the magic trick to make this lattice. So first of all, you wanna make your dough a little bit wet on the bottom edge, so on the curved edge, um, sort of the outside of the circle that you rolled out. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on there, like that, just to give it some tackiness to hold together. Go. All right, so the way we're gonna make this lattice is we're gonna take one corner of the pastry. Well, let's do this one so you can see better. You take one corner and you want it to meet up over there. So you wanna flip it over the filling. Oh, my dough is very thin here. And then meeting at the opposite side. And then same with the other side, you want it to meet over there. So flip it over the filling to meet at the bottom. And you can roll this over if you want to make it a little bit neater. Press it down. Let's do the same thing again on this one. So we take a corner, flip it over, and then take the opposite corner and flip it over. And now we have the lattice. And then you repeat the same thing with the two other dough balls. 